Alright guys, so we are moving into the morning here. We are getting out of the hotel, although we're going to be coming back in for breakfast. Uh, we are just taking our things out to the car, uh, and then as I said, we're going to go get some breakfast. We are now on our way out of the hotel. We are going to head to Savannah now, which should be a fun day. So right now we're basically trying to figure out where the heck to park and where the mm -hmm. heck the actual welcome center is. Uh, there's a place to park, but it costs twenty dollars cash. And there seems to be a welcome center on every corner. <laughs> yeah, there seems to be like a dozen welcome centers within like a half mile of us. So we have no freaking clue where to go. We have finally made it to one of the visitor centers down there. I knew you guys really can't see it, but well, maybe you can. There's some old train cars uh, that they have as buildings, so that's pretty cool down there. There's one of the old trolleys. Uh, these are the different trolley tours that they have in Savannah. This is the actual welcome center, and so we're about to go in. Look at this gift shop. We've got purses and bags, we've got a bunch of jewelry, we've got some books and toys, trains, harmonica. Why don't you get one out and play it? I'm just kidding, don't actually do that. I am Chris. Hi, Chris. At the Old Town Trolley Historic Tours of America, welcome to beautiful Savannah, Georgia. Everybody ready to see the city? Woo! Yeah. Alright, everybody had their coffee this morning. We have our tractor pools, our mud bombs, WWE wrestling, beauty pageants, important stuff going on over here. Inside there you'll find the Johnny Mercer Theater, named after Savannah's very own Johnny Mercer. Wrote over a thousand songs, famous singer, songwriter, actor, co-founder of Capitol Records, extension of the Telfair Academy of Arts and Sciences. Sit well with Nellie Kinsey Gordon, daughter-in-law of William Washington Gordon. So she had this stone in the southeast corner purchased from Stone Mountain, Georgia, from the Chatham County Fire Department. Savannah known for having the first motorized fire department in the nation and went to motor coaches in 1911. 1955, if you can get a look at that steeple up there, it might look familiar to you movie buffs. That's where a feather floated down, landed on a bench located right from the Chippewa Square sign. I'm not allowed to ring my bell here, they don't want me waking the spirits. It's on Jones Street for many, many years. They say that's where we get the saints. Keeping up with the Joneses. Oh, okay. ah, most of the time, that's where Danny Hansford was killed by Jim Williams. That's the fountain, fountain at Forsyth Park. It was green for St. Patrick's Day. This is where locals come to get their exercise in Forsyth Park. You see a lot of folks out here 
walking their dogs, running, jogging, a lot of recreation goes on out here on the weekends. Great. We're going to talk more about Eichberg here in a minute, see some homes that he built. A few modern modifications here and there, like this porch over here to your right. But for the most part, this is how Savannah looked in the 1850s. to sell their differences they would get back to back walk off 10 to 12 paces turn shoot now if you're a good shot your victim didn't have far to fall he'd land to his grave right here at colonial park cemetery first person buried here in 1750 the last in 1853 in all there's about 10,000 folks buried out here right here they have plumbing before the white house in washington dc so we're going to do real well we are the peach state anybody Patriot. This is where we kick off our St. Patrick's Day. When they arrived here in Savannah, they throw these stones out onto the riverbank to make room for their cargo. These roadways here and these walls here made up of ballast stones. Bob's your uncle, and Fanny's, Fanny's your aunt. Who pronounces it aunt? <laughs> I do. No, seriously. That's where they kick off St. Patrick's Day every year, right there at the Celtic Cross. Alright, so we just got off of the bus. We're now going to walk around a bit and I guess we're just going to explore Savannah. What do you think, Connor? Okay? I don't know what I'm doing. You do all the work. Just got a classic bottle of Coke. And now I'm about to press a penny. Did you say candy Legos? <laughs> that is sweet. Okay, real quick, I'm pausing the time lapse to show you hardcore parkour. Come on, do some hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour. Ooh. Ooh, kill him. Go back to the time lapse. Connor, what do you have to say about what you just did? Pain. Yeah, I figured. He just ran up these stairs and then jumped from right there down to here and his knees hurt like crap. Oh brother, oh brother. How do you feel about what you just did? More pain. More pain? No pain, no gain, as they say. No, get the stuff, stuff out of the I'm just kidding. I don't care. What do you think you're doing? Getting in front of my time lapse? How dare you? You just stepped on broken glass, sir. How do you feel now? Quick, 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 look at this ferry. I don't know why I'm filming this for so long. So right now, me and Connor are here. We are waiting for uh, my mom and his mom to get out. They've been in some store for like a half hour now and we have no clue what they're doing. Welcome to Savannah. Would you like magnets, magnets, or magnets? Look at these. These are 100% real. Look at these. These are so cool. This still smells like the old You should put it in your hair as a jewelry piece. It smells like old fish. Well, that's probably good because it came from the sea. The only acceptable toilet papers. So there's this little game here. You have to try and grab one of these shark teeth before it clamps down. So try it. Gotcha! Ooh! I guess that sort of counts. Hey, you're pretty quick. Gotcha. Once more. My battery just died as I was filming a time lapse. I really wanted to get this boat in it, but it didn't work out. Like this boat is huge. You can't really tell it on the camera, but it's freaking huge. M. We're gonna be walking all the way we just came. This is the Wolfgang Bakery. Oh look at this guitar. 
Oh, no. An emoji on a guitar. Really? You had to ruin it with the emoji. Okay, whoa, pausing. Look at that. That's huge. They're literally, they're literally using rakes to clean up the Irish Day festivities. So, an incredibly loud motorcycle just came by, and it like, I, I jumped, like, it was so loud. Just had some good ice cream. Glad we showed up when we did because the line for this place is super long now. Why? Now we're gonna go catch another trolley. The world, the world is being taken over by ants. They have to pedal to move this drink trolley. Like, the people that sit on it pedal. That is hilarious. Hello, friend. There's a lizard in there somewhere. A wild Connor in his natural habitat. Observe him from a distance. Peaceful. Serene. It looks so beautiful here. Peaceful. Serene. Connor just got pooped on by a bird. How lovely. We just got off one of the trolleys, you might be able to see it behind me. Uh, now we are going to the Pirate's House, which is a pretty famous restaurant here in Savannah. I'm so getting this. Not the original Periscope. Hello, Paula Dean. They've got some sort of cornbread-like pancake. And then we've got a cheese biscuit here, and it looks so good. Got some mashed potatoes, some mac and cheese, some pulled pork, everyone eating around the table. Is that a viper? Now we are heading to this park over here, as you can see. Uh, one thing we learned on the trolley tours is that Savannah was laid out in sort of a grid pattern, so they have 24 squares in the city. Um, not not like squares as in blocks, but actual like squares of parks. They have a ton of parks in Savannah, so we're going to one of them now. This by far is one of the largest squares. Ooh, look at that. That is pretty. And then we've got this really weak freaking fountain in the middle. Hit the floor, bounced up, and made it in the fountain. Apparently, he's gonna try to throw. Ah, oh, dang it, to hit the sidewall. Try it, try it. Still hit the sidewall. It's still hitting the sidewall every time. Alrighty then. <laughs> Someone is obviously trying to pimp out their ride to the max. Alright guys, so we are in the car. We are on our way to Jacksonville, Florida. We are going to be staying the night there. And then we are headed to Orlando tomorrow. Uh, I have barely any space left on my SD card. So I'm probably just going to skip the drive entirely. Um, I might try and pull it out if there's some pretty scenes. But I'll try not and waste the space I have by rambling on. So that there's something to look at because you can't see my face at all. We're now in Florida. We're about a half hour away from our hotel. Jacksonville, Florida, you are very pretty, my friend. Spectacular looking skyline. Look at that, boys. Real palm trees. Pretty nice looking hotel. Nothing too fancy. Looks pretty nice over here. We got a crack barrel. <laughs> 